Hey guys, my name is Nick Sivrich. I'm a physical therapist, and today I want to go over this week's question of the week. A lot of times I will get from patients, uh, especially on the, the very first visit, uh, when can I go back to the gym? When can I start working out again? And this is a very good question because, you know, a lot of times people think that if they're injured, that they can't work out, they can't continue their daily routine of what they love to do. Um, you know, so I normally tell them, you know, it's, it's very rare that I say you can't go at all. But I usually tell them, you can go back today if you want. And, you know, a lot of them kind of look at me like, well, is that okay to do? Um, but I'll give you some examples. So for instance, say you hurt your shoulder. Say you strain your shoulder, lifting something, you know, throwing something, whatever. Strain your rotator cuff, okay? So what's the reason why you can't go back to the gym today to work on your lower body? What's the reason why you can't go back to walk on the treadmill, run on the treadmill, ride the bike, do the elliptical, uh, do core activities? Uh, you don't have to be able to do every single body part in order to go back to the gym and stay fit, stay active, keep doing the things you want to do. Uh, same thing goes for lower uh, extremity. Say you sprain your ankle or tweak your knee, um, something like that. Why can't you go to the gym and do upper body activities, core activities? Um, you know, if you have back pain and it feels better to sit, why can't you go to the gym uh, and, and do seated activities? There's plenty of things at the gym that you can do while you're sitting. A lot of the exercises you do at the gym, you sit or you lay. Uh, very few do you have to do standing if you don't want to. Uh, or if you have back problems and you like to stand better than sit, you can do a lot of standing activity. There's plenty of things to keep you active and keep you motivated and keep you on your journey of fitness. Uh, even when you have an injury, you don't have to completely stop everything. Now, there are certain cases where, say, for instance, you do have a back issue. Say you herniate a disc or uh, it hurts to stand, it hurts to sit. You really can't find any comfortable position. Picking things up, anything bothers it. Then I usually, you know, th that's a time, uh, the rare time where I'll say, well, you know, we got to hold off on that for a little while just until we kind of calm things down, uh, calm your symptoms down before we can kind of build you back up to being able to go um, to the gym and to be able to do different activities. So, um, you know, there's no reason why you can't continue on uh, with what you want to do, uh, whether or not you have an injury or not, depending on how bad it is, of course, but there's always things you can do. There's always things that I can come up with for you to do um, outside of physical therapy, uh, you know, to try and help uh, keep you motivated. So I hope that helped this week, guys. Um, thank you guys so much for watching my videos, subscribing to my channel. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Have a good week, guys. Thanks a lot.